When it comes to teacher salaries, Florida ranks near the bottom. We're 46th for the average teacher salary, coming in at about 12,000 under the national average. Pole County teachers are among some of the lowest paid in our area, making about 47 grand. Now they're taking their concerns to the school board after taking them to the state earlier this month. 10 News reporter Madison Allworth is at that school board meeting tonight in Madison. It sounds like teachers are coming out in full force. Yeah, they are expecting hundreds of teachers and parents at the meeting tonight, which is actually why they moved it to Bartow High School to accommodate that much larger crowd. The teachers that I spoke to today told me that they're going to be advocating for higher pay, which would also result in a better student experience as well as a better school experience. And for some of those teachers, higher pay would mean that they could get off of state aid programs. Bruce is one of the hundreds of teachers who plans to attend tonight's school board meeting. Nobody came into teaching thinking that they were going to get rich. Uh, we teach because we love it. We want to make a difference in students' lives, but it, it does make living and supporting a family difficult. He's receiving additional support from the state, but he'd rather see that support in his paycheck than through subsidized health care. I have a doctorate and 18 years of teaching experience, and my family qualified for WIC at one point. My kids are now a little bit older than that, so we don't qualify for WIC only for that reason. My kids are on Healthy Kids, the state insurance program, because we're considered a low-income family. He says over his time teaching, Polk has become more expensive. There has definitely been a change. Uh, teacher pay has not kept up with inflation, and cost of living in Polk County, especially here in Lakeland, has gone up significantly. Arguing a pay increase means more than just teachers making more money. And we want them to know that it's, it's much larger than just teacher pay or even just teachers, so teachers in general. Teachers will be standing up tonight to ask for that better salary. Teachers will be standing up to be asking for that better salary and better school support. And I also was able to speak earlier to the Polk Education Association president. She told me they're going to be specifically asking for a millage increase to be put on the referendum. So that would result in higher property taxes. And doing so, they would want that money to be allocated specifically to both teacher salaries as well as after school programs. A one millage increase would result in 40 to 50 million dollars. And several other districts have just gone through contract negotiations. This past week, Sarasota teachers reached a deal. Those with an effective rating are getting a three and a quarter percent increase and highly effective teachers are going to get a four and a quarter of a percent increase. Nearly 5,000 teachers in Pasco are expected to get a three and a quarter percent increase starting in February after the contracts ratified. Hillsborough approved an agreement with the union for a 4% increase for clerical staff, school nurses, and teaching assistants back in September.